Hey, this is John with Two Moose Home Inspections, and today we'll be talking about your circuit breakers and how they're not designed to save you from electrical shock. Welcome to Inspector Insights. This six-part video series will be discussing the service entrance panel, fuses, circuit breakers, ground fault circuit interrupters, arc fault circuit interrupters, and whole home surge protection. This video specifically will be discussing circuit breakers. In the previous video, we discussed fuses and how they're designed to be replaced by the homeowner and how that resulted in numerous house fires. So let's keep things clear, just like we did last time. Fuses and circuit breakers are not designed to save you from electrical shock. Their only function is to protect the wires in the walls from being overloaded, which would result in them overheating and catching your house on fire. Think of the wires in your toaster as they heat up, but inside your walls. Circuit breakers outperform fuses in many ways. Circuit breakers are reusable. If the breaker is tripped, the homeowner can reset the breaker the same way that the homeowner would flip a switch to turn on the lights. The homeowner should not be exposed to any electrified conductors, and the homeowner can't accidentally put in the wrong size breaker or bypass the breaker with a coin. Circuit breakers are shrouded in secrecy, much the same way the Wizard of Oz was behind the curtain. The hidden inner workings of a service panel help to keep people out of the service panel because the effort it takes to remove the dead front cover is a reminder that only an electrician should be working inside the panel, and because not knowing what's behind the panel is a little bit scary so people don't mess around with their house's electrical components as often as they used to. In the service panel video, we already talked about the internal components of a service panel, so let's talk about a circuit breaker and what makes it work. Another name for a common household circuit breaker is a thermal magnetic breaker. If we look at the parts of its name, then we know that it is a breaker, so it'll break the electrical circuit, thus stopping the flow of power, and it is a breaker that can do this in one of two ways, either a thermal trip or a magnetic trip, hence being a thermal magnetic breaker. Circuit breakers use a bimetallic strip to trip the breaker when the electrical current is greater than the breaker's rating. One hair dryer alone can draw up to 15 amps of power, so if you're running two hair dryers on a 15 amp circuit, the circuit will trip. As the hair dryers are heating up, so is the bimetallic strip. As the bimetallic strip is heated, the strip will deform, causing the breaker to switch off. This is a thermal reaction to the overcurrent. If there is a short in the circuit, meaning that electricity can flow through the circuit with very little resistance, the breaker will trip. When the short circuit happens, the massive increase of current will induce a magnetic field inside the circuit breaker, causing the breaker to switch off. This is a magnetic reaction to the short circuit. Circuit breakers are able to protect the electrical wiring in your walls from overheating due to overloading, even if it happens slowly, or all of a sudden. And each circuit in the service panel is protected by a breaker that has an amperage rating printed on it. This amperage rating is determined by the thickness or gauge of the wire that was installed for that circuit. A common question that we get happens right after people see a dozen 15 amp breakers in a 100 amp panel. They ask, how can 180 amps of power be safely drawn through a 100 amp service panel? And the answer is that it can't. However, keep in mind that the 15 amp breaker is designed to protect the wire in that circuit from a load greater than 15 amps. And the 100 amp main breaker for the service panel is designed to protect the wire from the total load of no more than 100 amps. In practice, what this means is that your new LED lights on that 15 amp breaker might only be asking for five amps. And just because the breaker is designed to handle 15 amps, it doesn't mean that that circuit will be drawing its maximum of 15 amps now or any time during its service life. And the 100 amp breaker will trip if the total amperage being drawn by those dozen circuits exceeds 100 amps. There are a lot of improvements that circuit breakers bring to the home compared to fuses, but they still lack that special something. Neither fuses nor circuit breakers are designed to protect you from being electrocuted. But our next video will discuss the ground fault circuit interrupter, which is designed to do just that. Thanks for watching. And if you have any questions or would like to schedule a home inspection, please visit twomoosehomeinspections.com. Have a wonderful day.